Hey everyone, it's John with 9142 Props and Armory. It is 2018 now. We're two weeks into the new year. I'm in the workshop taking care of some things this morning on a Wednesday. And I got something for you. So you got a new printer for Christmas, or maybe you're new to 3D printing, or you've had a printer for a while, and you run into the same problem that a lot of people do. How the hell do you know what's going on on this printer when you're not there. I'm going to show you a way how to do this for absolutely free using only stuff that you have already. With free software. That's three times free. That's a cheap bastard special is what that is. And I'm going to show you how to do it right now. printer it's running you can't always be there watching it because you have a life you got a family you got a job you got other things to do friends a social life whatever it might be so how do you keep track and keep tabs on what's going on here so you don't come home after hours and hours and hours and have a giant pile of garbage on your printer well there's a couple ways to do it if there's somebody else at home you can bother the holy hell out of them and keep asking them send you a picture hey hey how can you send me a picture or ask my daughter hey can you send me a picture take a picture go downstairs take a picture of my printer and send it to me it bugs the hell out of people it gets annoying so i'm going to show you a way that's absolutely free using the stuff that you have already let's do it all right so you got your printer and odds are in very close proximity to that printer you have a computer you have to have a computer to use a 3d printer right so Mine happens to be right next door to it, and I just want to call attention to my giant ass new monitor that I have going on here, which is fantastic. My old one died. I had a 27 inch, and now I've got a 40 inch monitor, but that's besides the point. It just kicks ass. I just love it. So, anyway, so you got your computer, you've got your printer, you have a cell phone, you probably have a smartphone, right? A little bit older, a little bit newer, whatever it happens to be, you can do this with that equipment. And the final piece of the puzzle that you need is one of these little guys. You need a webcam as well. And odds are somewhere in a junk drawer or old computer component box that you have, you've got one of those or even attached to your computer right now. All right, so you need your cell phone, that webcam, a computer running next to your printer, and you're good to go. Final piece of the puzzle is software. What's the software? It's something you probably already have installed on most of those things already. Very simple and very easy to use and absolutely free. It's Skype. So you have Skype on your computer already. You probably know how to use it. You probably have some experience with it already. Why not utilize the free tools that you have at your disposal already? There are other great ways to do this. You can go out and you can set up Octoprint on your computer. It will give you the ability to do many other things. Remote control of that printer to a degree as well. Don't worry, we're going to address that in another video. And we'll call this the Cheap Bastard series where you can actually turn that computer off when things go to hell. All right, so all you need to do is install Skype on your phone, install it on your computer, attach that webcam to it, create two different accounts. Obviously you need one on your phone and then the second one you need on the computer with the webcam attached to it so that you can monitor the prints. So you can call that second account, dummy account, whatever you want to call it, give it a name, get it set up. The only thing that you need to change is you need to make sure that this computer will pick up your call automatically doesn't work really well unless there's somebody else there to push the button to go ahead and uh, turn that on. So all you need to do in these main um, settings screen, and to get to that you just click on the upper left hand corner with your name on there and go on into settings, calling, and then there is answer calls automatically answer and incoming calls automatically go ahead and flip that to on whenever you call into the computer 
you will be connected automatically and be able to see what's going on. So you got your camera, you're going to set that up, orient it however you want to do it, compose your shot however you want to do it, make sure that you can see what's going on here so that you can keep an eye on things. Pretty simple, right? So I'm going to show you a little bit on the phone how it actually works so you can see. It is easy. You can monitor your prints from wherever you are in the world, wherever you happen to be. You're at work all day. Uh, you're out running errands. <laughs> out to something for uh, with your kids or with your friends, whatever it is. It's absolutely free. It's absolutely very easy as well. All right, so we're into the phone. We open up Skype app. And our call comes in, and there is the printer. So we get a direct video feed from our printer. We can remotely monitor things and keep an eye on exactly what's going on. How easy is that? And free. All right. Hopefully that was helpful for everybody. And if they found that this video was helpful for you, and maybe some of the other ones have been as well, be sure to like. Like the video. Give that thumbs up. <laughs> My four-year-old Henry is sitting right off to the side and he's going like this. And then he's saying, tell him to subscribe. <laughs> you're, you're right, Henry. <laughs> he's absolutely right. Make sure you go ahead and like, like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, comments down below if you've got any questions on how to do this. You maybe like to see something else, a video covering something different. Give me those ideas. I'd be happy to do videos on those things as well because this will only be as interesting for you as it can be if I'm doing things that you'd like to see. So, thumbs up. Comments below. Um, there'll be some information in the description down below too on some of the equipment, where to get it, where to download the Skype uh, software from, maybe information on the, the, the camera that I use and some of the other stuff that we're using in the video here too. If you want to know where to get those, it's all down below. So, thumbs up, comment, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to take some time and get into this stuff. Take a chance, make something, you're going to learn, you're going to screw things up a lot along the way, but the only way to get anywhere interesting is to, to take that journey. So have some fun, make something today, let me know what you're making. Thanks for spending the time. I appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you again next time for 2018. I will be putting out videos each and every week. That's my first promise. Each and every week, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get my button gear, get those videos out there, and hopefully grow things a little bit. All right, so it's John from 9142 Props and Armory. So look for that video coming up very soon in the next couple days probably on how to remotely kill that printer in the event that things go to hell on that print bed. So if you look at your phone and you go, oh shit, I'm going to show you how to kill that as well. So that's coming up too. It's John. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Have a good day.